Hey, it's Matt Loves Cameras. I'm here in Tama Plaza in the south side of Tokyo. And I'm gonna visit a store that I've been wanting to visit for so long, Champ Camera. You may have seen them on Instagram. They have an incredible range of films and I'm really keen to check out one of their stores. They have four stores here in Tokyo. Well, it's just south of Tokyo actually, between Tokyo and Yokohama. So it's about an hour from central Tokyo. This store I'm visiting today is the most convenient for me to visit from the train line. Really excited to see what kind of films and what kind of cameras they have in store. Let's go. So as we approach the store, we see lots of promotional signs with cameras on. There are some there with passport photos on. And also this one here in the middle has a disposable camera on. There was always lots of people in the store coming and going, printing out photos, asking the staff questions. It was really wonderful to see a camera store that was so well used by the local community. You can print out photos here and there's also loads of photo albums, and stickers and washi tape. And here is the film wall. Now it may not look very impressive, but look at all these beautiful films here. And we're going to start off with one I bought in the far back left corner, Agfa Ultra. Now this film is for ultra high color saturation, right up my alley. It costs 2,500 yen, which is around 17 US dollars. Best before 2007, and this one was made in Germany. Next up on the left, we have Photos Film in this beautiful bright yellow and black packaging. Apparently though, this is just repackaged Kodak Ultramax 400. In the back row, there's a blast from the past. I used to live in the UK and I've shot Jessup's Diamond Everyday film before. This one from the early 2000s was made in the EU, thought to be made in Germany, Agfa Color 200. I was excited to see the Yashka film in the blue box in the front row there, but apparently this is just rebadged Ultramax from 2019. How disappointing. To the right of Photos, we have Escura Vintage Negative Film. This one was a curious one for me. I was wondering exactly what this film is because I've actually shot Escura Showa camera film, which is also ISO 400. You can see the results of that film in my video, Mystery Japanese Film, right here on Matt Loves Cameras YouTube. On the back row, there is some Ferrania Solaris color negative film, and I was super keen to try this out, but it was quite expensive for a roll with just 12 exposures on, so I left it on the shelf. In the green box at the back, you can see the second roll of film I bought. FK KB25, made in Croatia, best before 2014. How cool is this? It cost 3,500 yen, which is about 23 US dollars. Now my podcaster buddy Alex Lauks from Canada told me that this film has a very high silver content and he offered very kindly to develop the film for me. So I sent it to Canada and here is Alex doing his thing. Look out for a YouTube video about this role of FK25. There'll be some information about where I shot it. And Alex also did a video about how he processed this film and also the history of FK, which was fascinating. Moving along here, we see lots of black and white films. So we see some Ilford films at the back, some T-Max. We see some Arista Edu. We see some Cosmo Photo. We see some Shanghai. And we also see some Marix Photo Boxes. Now Marix Photo is a company based in Osaka and they rebrand color negative film, color reversal film, black and white film, and also movie stocks. Moving along, we see lots more Ilford films, some Rolly films at the front there, some Fomapan. At the back there, you've got the FPP monster films, which are believed to be Sphema repackaged films. You've got some more Cosmo photo there at the back, some Orwo, Wolfen in the middle. And at the back, there's also some Paul and Reinhold Rolly film, which is really curious because it's made in Italy. So who made that? Moving down the line, we see lots of pre-exposed films. So we see some Kono, Revlog, Double Film. We see Hanalogical, we see BKIFI. And hiding in the middle row there with the orange top is one of my favorite films, Adox Color Mission. I've shot quite a few rolls of it, absolutely love it. And if you wanna see some of my results, check out these videos. Adox Color Mission with point and shoot film cameras, taken on the Class S and the Contax T3. And also this one, Sydney on Film on the Minolta TC1, taken on a beautiful day in Sydney last year. 
This next little section has quite a few repackaged cinema films and you can see all of the daylight and the tungsten ones at the back there and also the ones in the middle with 100D, 640T and also more of the Marix and some Reflex Lab ones there as well. At the back we have some Kodak Pro Image and some Portra along with Ektar, Ultramax, Color Plus and here are the Fuji films. great to see them. Now at the back there is both Fujifilm C200 that's made in Japan and it also looks like there's the Fujifilm 200 which is made in North America. At the bottom you have three films which were widely available in electronics and camera stores like Big Camera and Yodabashi. You have Fujicolor 100, you have Fujifilm Extra Superior 400 and also you have this one which I bought three rolls of at Big Camera, Superior Premium 400. This has been around for a while this film but it's only recently come back on the shelves and look at that expiry date 2026. So does this mean that it's back in production? Who knows? But I'm really looking forward to shooting this film soon. One thing which I love seeing is at the back in those black canisters. It is Rira Pan. This is a 127 film. How cool to see that. There's also a small selection of Cine still, some slide films, and some more Ilford films there on the right. Panning up, there's a good selection of color and black and white lamography films. Also some 110 film there, which is fantastic to see. Over here, you've got the three packs of the Kodak film, Ultramax and Kodak Gold, and also the lamography films, and there's some Fuji film there as well. And going across the left here, there's a few more different looking films. You've got the film Never Die, Iro and Kiro, and also their Sora and the Chameleon ones. And there's some really cool branded films here, like some FPP ones, and there's also these other ones, I've no idea what they are, but they've got some fantastic looking characters on there. There's a very small selection of Agfa Photo film there. The one on the right, the Agfa Vista 100, looks like it's made in Italy for Rania film. And the 400 one on the left looks like it's the later made in Japan film. Next we have a couple of brands which are repackaged film. We have Candido out of the UK and also Hands On Film out of Singapore. Now one of the promotional banners at the front of the shop featured the simple Ace Fuji camera and there it is in the store. There are some basic plastic cameras on sale from Agfa Photo, Film Never Die and from Kodak. Now you may have seen all the QR codes near the film. This is very cool. This is a wall of QR codes and what you do here is if you want to see sample photos taken with any film you scan the QR code on your phone and a page on the Champ Camera website comes up and shows you sample photos. That is very, very cool. Now, if you're thinking of coming to Japan and buying up all the film, take note of this sign. You can only buy one roll or one pack per product, total five rolls per customer. And there's also a note there, do not go around to the other stores and buying up your quota from each store. That is not the done thing in Japan. Also on this side of the store, there's lots of washi tape and photo albums, but that is just half of the store because in the other part of the store, there are cameras, both digital cameras and film cameras. Look at them all here. They are absolutely looking magnificent. So there's a few cases there of cameras. I went back and forth about 10 different times. There's sort of Sony digital cameras. There are lots of different types of lenses, Fujifilm X series, there's Canon. It really is wonderful just looking at all of the stuff here it was a little bit hard to know like if these are good deals or not if you unless you're very very familiar with the products but their selection of Nikon film cameras in particular I mean these look brand new they looked absolutely beautiful they looked so shiny and well looked after I was actually very tempted to buy one but in the end I kept my money in my wallet now just one example, that Nikon S2 with the lens is 70,000 yen, which is about 470 US dollars. I have no idea if that's a good buy, but it certainly looks beautiful. It was a nice selection of Leica cameras here. Again, these look very well looked after. The M5, for example, was 350,000 yen, which is around 2,340 US dollars. There's a nice selection of Canon Olympus and Pentax SLRs and also some Olympus half frame cameras there all around the 150, 160 US dollar mark. One thing they did not have were many point and shoots which was a bit disappointing because that is my jam. 
So I've just finished up at Champ Camera in Tama Plaza in Tokyo. Really enjoyed going to the store and having a look at what they had for sale. Unfortunately, I wasn't a very good customer for them. I bought those two rolls, the FK25 ISO black and white film and the Agfa Ultra ISO 50 film. Both long since expired, but I'll have a bit of fun shooting them. And hopefully you'll see the results here on Matt Loves Cameras YouTube very soon. I really enjoyed going to Champ Camera. It was a great little nerdy sort of side trip for me. I'm not gonna go to the other three stores because I'm guessing they'll be very similar. Some fantastic cameras in there. But uh, yeah, I've already got a lot of cameras and a lot of film at home. But yeah, it was fantastic to see them flying the film flag. So I've already shot that roll of FK25 film. So make sure you subscribe and keep a lookout for that. The results are coming very soon here on Matt Loves Cameras. I really enjoyed my visit to Champ Camera. What did you think of the films I showed you? Were there any that I missed out that looked intriguing? Let me know everything in the comments. If you love Japan and you love film, check out my playlist, Japan on Film. There are four other videos to enjoy with more to come. Also make sure you check out my Zine 35mm Japan, shot in Japan on 35mm compact cameras. You can buy a copy, I ship them internationally from mattlovescameras.com or you can download instantly a PDF copy from mattlovescameras.substack.com.